All right, guys, it's that time again. Time for Slashing Up the Charts, episode 11. Can't do that too well. Yeah, you like this shirt. Okay. Uh, this film, uh, the film opening this weekend, which is going to crush the box office. Hunger Games Catching Fire. Um, it's kind of an action, I don't really have an action shirt. I was going to buy, there was a Catching Fire shirt, I was going to buy it, but I didn't, I didn't have the money for it, which is too bad. The money on me, I should say. I'm not that poor, don't worry. I can afford a freaking t-shirt, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I was going to buy it, and I was like, because, yeah, I remember uh, after leaving the first Hunger Games movie, I was like, oh, I want to see what this sequel is going to be like. Because I, I have not read the books. I very much want to read the books. but uh, um, And I own the first one, but I need to just start reading it sometime. Um, but this is a franchise that I can easily see taking off and performing as well as, like, Harry Potter and uh, uh, Twilight. Oh, God. Thank God that's over. Okay, I don't want to... Okay, let's not get into it. I'm going to mention Twilight a couple other times today, but only because... Uh, in good in good terms, though, don't worry. Okay, so this film, yeah, The Hunger Games Catching Fire continues the story left off from the first movie, The Hunger Games. Uh, the stars, oh my god. Jennifer Lawrence is on the freaking hot streak of her life. Uh, okay, last year, she was a uh, star of The Hunger Games, which automatically brought her up into the... In, easily as one of the front runners in pop culture icons. Um, and later that year she starred in, uh, there was a, she was in this really bad horror movie. I never caught it. I never saw it. But uh, then she did, uh, of course, who can forget Silver Linings Playbook, uh, which was one of the top ten films of, of last year. Um, and she won the Academy Award for it. Very well deserved. Yes, I'm so glad she won. Um, and... Um, and yeah, basically, um, from there, she just skyrockets. She has like, oh my god, uh, the moon is basically where she's uh, heading next. Because now, not only is she going to be in the sequel now to Hunger Games, she's also got another <laughs> film from David O. Russell, naturally, uh, American Hustle. Which I believe, uh, and I did an Oscar video uh, not too long ago, I need to finish editing it. And I need to post it as well along with the review for Thor and for Rush, and wasn't there one other thing I was going to upload? I can't remember now, but yeah, then that'll be broken up into three videos, so um, yeah, I believe she's going to get a nomination this year for Supporting Actress for American Hustle, so, um, and if she does, and I think she will, oh my god, she, and if she wins, which I don't think she will, but if she wins, oh my god, two years in a row, okay, let's see, Spencer Tracy, Tom Hanks, Jennifer Lawrence. Those will be the only three if she does it. But I don't, I don't quite think she will. But, uh, wait, am I leaving somebody out? I feel like I'm leaving somebody out. Uh, yeah. I, I, Oscars is my thing, but don't worry. Uh, th those are the two that I automatically think of. Spencer Tracy and, and Tom Hanks. But, uh, um, we're going to move on now. The film is uh, also stars, of course, uh, Josh Hutcherson, who I've never been a huge, huge fan of. I loved him in the, uh, uh, what was it, the board game one, Zathura, and I liked him quite a bit in the Terabithia one, uh, which I haven't seen that in a long time. I remember I loved that film when it first came out, but uh, um, let's see, beyond that, uh, yeah, he was in a couple other things. Uh, what was it? The Kids Are Alright. I've never sat down and watched it, but I've seen the clips of him, and I think he, he looks like he's doing a nice job in those. And, of course, he kind of uh, resurrected himself into my consciousness uh, after doing two films in 2012, one of which was god-awful, one of which was actually really good. Uh, he was in the Red Dawn remake, which I... Pfft, no, not for me. No, not at all. And then there was Hunger Games, which he was actually he was he was actually pretty good, and I can't really I didn't really like his character too much. He kind of came off as a little okay. Let let's say this: I had a more reaction, a more emotional reaction to him uh, when he was made fun of in the bad lip reading. <laughs> I swear. Okay, if you've not seen the bad lip reading for uh, Hunger Games, that is hilarious. Like right from the first opening, um, after they say the Hunger Games or whatever, however they enter it. I was laughing my butt off, like, within the first five seconds of the video. And that takes skill for me, because I'm kind of, when it comes to YouTube, I'm kind of harsh when it comes to stuff like that. So why do I make my videos so long and nobody watches them? I don't know. 
Uh, I just love to blab. So we're going to keep blabbing now. Um, let's see, Liam Hemsworth, um, who proved that he's not the big draw that people thought he would be. What was it? That Paranoia film didn't fetch five million, or no, five million opening weekend, and it didn't get ten million by the time it's end of its domestic run. Oh, what a big bomb. Um, then we've also got the supporting cast. Oh, my God. We've got Woody Harrelson, Elizabeth Banks. We've got uh, uh, Donald Sutherland. Uh, joining the cast, we've got Philip Seymour Hoffman, who's the f one of the freaking best actors on the planet right now. Uh, we've also got uh, Jeffrey Wright from uh, all the, the recent James Bond movies. Uh, this cast is building. And we've got, uh, in the next films, we're going to have Julianne Moore added in as well. Uh, so... Oh my god, I, this cast is so great. Uh, I, I didn't mention, shoot, I should have mentioned him. Uh, now I feel like a, a, a jackass for doing this. Uh, Kenny Levitz, who did a great, great job in the first film as, uh, uh, what was his character's name again? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I've, I've seen the first Hunger Games a few times. I'm not, I didn't put it on my top ten list, but I still really liked it, and I thought it was a real accomplishment as a film, and it did a very nice job. And I love Gary Ross, by the way. Secretariat, and, of course, Pleasantville. Oh, I love Pleasantville. Best film in 1998. Who gives a damn about Saving Private Ryan or Shakespeare in Love? Pleasantville is where it's at. Um, I know I just got a few, uh, a few people hate on me now for saying who gives a damn about Saving Private Ryan. Great film, by the way. Don't, don't, don't hate me for that. But, uh, okay, I got myself in a little, little bit of trouble, so we're going to move on. Uh, yeah, the level of the cast is great. Uh, uh, the director of the film, um, his name also is Lawrence, uh, Terrence Lawrence? No, that's not right. Francis Lawrence, that's right. Uh, who directed I Am Legend, uh, with Will Smith, great film. Uh, not, I didn't love it as much as everybody else did, but I definitely appreciate it, and I thought it was so bad when that stupid dog died. I got, I, I got really emotional about that, but... Then again, I hate Marley and me, so... Uh, what is it with me? I'm so against the popular group anymore. Uh, then again, I am very much looking forward to this film. The reviews are on... Uh, to quote a phrase, are on fire. <laughs> um, oh, God, I didn't mention Stanley Tucci. Tucci? Yeah, that's, that's how you pronounce it. Tucci, Tucci. I, I've heard it pronounced both ways. Uh, as the wild off-the-wall TV host. Yeah, he was great in the first film as well. Um... God, what is it with me? I'm, it's late. I, I can't think straight all the time. So uh, if I left anybody else out, um, Kenny Levitz, Stanley Tucci, please don't kill me. <laughs> um, anyways, what do I have to say about the film? I think it's uh, it's going to score a massive number. Like the first Hunger Games, it, I was surprised. I was expecting, okay, with the draw I was getting, I said, okay, I'll, I'll, be, uh, I'll be very well pleased... Uh, you know, and I'm sure the studio will be, like, off the charts if the film gets $110 million. It earned 150 150 that was like 152 153 It was a little over 150 And I was just, I was just like, oh my god. What, what, I had no idea. I knew the film was going to open well. I didn't know it was going to open that freaking well. Oh my god. Uh, wow. Um, anyways. This film is just going to build from that. I think it, it truly is going to be uh, the um, the film to beat this year, I think. And with uh, Frozen uh, taking over next weekend, I don't think Frozen will dominate the box office next weekend. I think uh, Hunger Games will have decent hold. Um, but uh, I still think, though, that uh, Hunger Games will be number one for three weekends in a row. And that'll be enough, I think, to dethrone Iron Man 3. I think this is, and I think, what was it, the New York Times, uh, or somebody like that, or the Wall Street Journal, or somebody predicted that this film was going to be the biggest film of the year. They were dead on right. I said it was going to be Iron Man 3. Uh, but then again, worldwide, that's domestically, by the way. But worldwide total, it's, it's up there. Because uh, Hunger Games uh, did not score very well in the international market. Uh, I think it was like uh, two-thirds of its total was domestic, which is, uh, unless it's, yeah, like a all-American movie, then yeah, that's very rare nowadays, especially these big blockbuster films. Uh, they always, like, Iron Man 3's uh, total for the domestic was only a third. Uh, uh, internationally, it was two-thirds, so the complete flip. But now I think Hunger Games' total, I think... 
this one will get close to, I don't know if it'll pass a billion dollars uh, worldwide. I don't think it's quite going to get up to the levels of Iron Man 3, but it remains to be seen. It could, it could, very well could. Um, I'm not going to doubt it too much. But I, I think it's going to be more like a 50-50 this time. Uh, I think definitely Hunger Games Catching Fire will get to at least 375 million domestically, and then probably about the same worldwide. So that's definitely a push up about 200 million dollars from uh, from uh, the first Hunger Games. So either way, any way you look at it, it's a win-win. The critics are freaking loving it. The fans cannot wait. Um, this, I'm doing this show early because I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be indisposed for like the entire weekend. So I have no time to to do. Uh, I'm going to have like a four-day weekend here, so I don't have no, no time. Uh, no, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, that's four-day. I can't count, sorry. <laughs> um, I will have no time to do this video otherwise, so get it done early. I have not seen any other predictions, but my prediction, I think, is going to be right in line. 170 million. I, I'm going with a loose estimate of 170 million. I did that with Thor. I've said 80. Here I'm saying 90 plus <laughs> uh, from, the, from that 170. I think it's going to be closer to, because Iron Man 3 opened at almost 100, just under 175 million in its opening weekend. I think it's going to be this close. It's seriously going to get very, very small, small, small difference. I think it's going to have at least 30 million on the re the record for November opening weekend, which is uh, freaking Twilight New Moon, which I'm finally, thank God, it's being dethroned um, from that box office champ for an opening weekend. Thank you uh, for making Hunger Games so popular. Because I swear, if they had screwed up the first Hunger Games, this series would have been dead. Um, you know, in the water. Uh, so thank God. The first one was such a big success and they're continuing steamrolling through and going to make this hopefully one of the better films of, uh, of the year. Um, that's, the, that's what the reviews are telling me. This is actually like solid very solid, almost to the point of Oscar-worthy entertainment. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think it'll yeah. So at least 172 then. Um, gosh, it is such a close call at this point whether or not it's going to match what Iron Man three did or go beyond. But it very well could. It very well could. If if Friday opens huge, like closer to like 70 million, 80 million, like uh, Avengers did. And then Saturday goes down only a little bit like Avengers did. Yeah, we're going to see at least 165 plus. There's some people that are putting it even lower than the first Hunger Games for some reason. They're saying it's going to, the backlash of the Hunger Games, but there hasn't been a back, what are they talking about? Some analysts are just stupid. And they're saying it's going to open at 145 and disappoint a little bit, but no, I don't think we have any worries about that. I mean, Lionsgate is going to, be rolling in in dough by the end of the weekend. They are going to be on top of the world, and nobody is going to dethrone them for at least three weeks uh, until The Hobbit comes out, which another film I'm, I'm excited for. Maybe not as excited, but still, I'm I'm excited for The Hobbit. So, with that, that's my prediction. It's going to be easily uh, sitting on the top of the box office. Okay, I'm going to make this uh, short as well because it's oh god, it's late. I've got a busy few days ahead of me, so I got to get this done. Uh, number two, we're going to see, um, I think, The Best Man Holiday, which opened very well last weekend. I very much uh, <laughs> underestimated it. Uh, number two, uh, definitely a better hold than Thor, which is going to very much fall apart. Then again, I do think that the counter-programming of Best Man Holiday against, uh, against uh, Hunger Games is going to hold better than most. I think it'll still be like a 50% drop. But uh, Thor, Thor's audience is going to be gone. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a bigger drop from last week uh, for Thor. Uh, so we're closer to 70 million, which could bring it down to less than 10 million for the weekend. Which, you know, I didn't really love Thor so, to, so, uh, too much. So, uh, whatever. You know, Marvel's very happy they've gotten their budget back. And, and Thor 3 will definitely be coming. So. I'm, all I gotta say is better luck next time, Marvel, because this time you kind of disappointed me. I still like the film, and I still have to post that freaking review, but uh, but yeah, I'll get that done uh, as soon as I can. Um, yeah, number three, we'll see Thor. Number four, uh, I think we're gonna find. Uh, um, I think the kids' audience will be all going to Hunger Games. So number four, I think we'll find uh, Las Vegas, which is another counter program, but I think it's gonna get hurt a little bit in the next coming weeks. 
Number five, uh, Freebirds. Uh, number six, uh, Gravity, I think. Uh, this, yeah, getting down here, this is getting a little tougher to predict. Number seven, 12 Years a Slave. Number eight, uh, Bad Grandpa. Number nine, uh, we could see... Uh, oh, I didn't mention uh, Delivery Man. That's opening up, too. Oh, my God. Oh, scratch that. We're going to start over now. Also, uh, Delivery Man. I almost completely forgot about this. Uh, and, yeah, this will be counter-programming also against Hunger Games. But with Vince Vaughn, uh, who's kind of shaky nowadays, because inter Internship did not do well uh, back in June. But overall, Vince Vaughn, I think, has got a pretty strong fan base. Not a terribly, like, hugely large, like, sky-high fan base, like, count or anything, but, uh, but he's definitely got people that'll go see him in whatever comes out. So I think that'll, that'll have a decent debut. I think it won't, I think it'll be number three for the weekend, though. Um, I think, yeah, Best Man's Holiday will be somewhere in the upper teens. Uh, Delivery Man could also reach that. It could be a very close battle for second place, but I don't know. I just don't know if the ads are there, or if the ads are kind of hitting to the audience yet. Uh, like, I know my father personally said, oh, that looks like a great movie, but then again, he didn't, he passed on uh, Gravity. He didn't want to, he didn't want to see it too bad. He went to see it anyways, and he, he gave, he gave it a negative review. His, he, he doesn't like anything outside of war movies or comedies, so this is more his brand. Um, this is a guy who freaking has, I swear to God, my father has a shrine of Chris Farley. <laughs> he loves uh, SNL and all the all the Chris Farley stuff and Adam Sandler, all that age. Uh, which is surprising when he was in what was he in his thirties then, twenties? I don't know. He didn't yeah he didn't love it when he was a teen growing up when Eddie Murphy was on. I don't know. Uh, anyways, but beyond that, um, uh, too much of my personal life. Let's keep going. Delivery Man, uh, of course, it's about, uh, and the trailer did look a little interesting to me. It's about a guy who basically has 500-some uh, kids due to some fertility thing. What's up with my shirt? I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's like 500 uh, kids from the fertility, and, uh, and like 100 and some are suing him, and it, the concept looked interesting, but uh, I don't know. It, Vince Vaughn is so hit and miss, though. The reviews aren't great, but then again, I shouldn't really be going exactly by the reviews because, yeah, there's certain films that get pretty much bypassed by a lot of critics, but I still enjoy them. Uh, and then there's some films that critics love that I'm kind of like, meh, it was okay. Um, but to this one, I think, could... I could actually... Uh, I think I'll wait for DVD on this one, but I, I, I think I've got enough interest in it. I think I will catch it eventually, one day, and I'll sit down and watch it. It's only an hour and 45 minutes versus... Hunger Games, which is close to two and a half hours, I think, which could potentially hurt, too. Because Thor, you know, you can get in and out of that within an hour and 45 minutes. Um, this one, it takes about two hours, 20 minutes, so you get less show times in, but that's all the bigger theater chain things. You know, my hometown theater, yeah, that's where I'm going to go see it. Um, but, uh, and I will get to see it on Sunday, uh, Sunday night, so uh, expect a review, but don't ex I don't really think I'm going to be... I'm going to be very tired. I'll, I'll tell you that. I'm going to be very, very wiped out uh, come Sunday. So my review for that will probably be like eight minutes. Uh, hopefully. I hope I'm not that hyped up that I can't sleep for Monday. Uh, but uh, anyways, and then we've got uh, Delivery Man, I think, will score number three spot. But I think it's going to be very close. Um, let's see. So then running down here, we'll try again. <laughs> Number one, Hunger Games. Number two, uh, Best Man's Holiday. Number three, in a very close battle with Best Man's Holiday, uh, Delivery Man. Number four, uh, Thor, Dark World. Number five, uh, I think we're going to find, um, uh, I mentioned uh, Las Vegas. Number six, um, Free Birds. Uh, number seven, Gravity. Number eight, uh, 12 Years a Slave. Number nine, uh, Bad Grandpa. And number ten, oh, let's see. Number 10, I don't know if Captain Phillips will hang on to the, in the top 10. We could see, uh, depending on how Dallas Buyers Club expands, I think it's going to, I think it's going to expand a little bit this week, and I haven't read the, the theater counts aren't out yet. Also, the Book Thief will be expanding a little bit. I don't know if that's going to quite go into more of a wide release or a semi-wide release yet, but, uh, uh depending on how they release, uh, get bumped up in theater counts, I mean, those could reach the number 10 spot. Uh, which, by the way, I'm interested in seeing both. I am very interested in seeing the Dallas Buyers Club. 
Matthew McConaughey looked great. Uh, Jared Leto looks like, oh, both of them are going to get an Oscar nod, definitely. Uh, don't know about wins, but uh, they'll get nods for sure. And the thing could get nominated for Best Picture, maybe, but uh, we'll see how that race turns out. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. Book Thief, yeah, my interest is, it's kind of waning now, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll be great, um, you know, for, uh, for what it is. Uh, let's see, otherwise, 12 Years a Slave, uh, I really want to see that. Nebraska, I really want to see that, too. Uh, <laughs> there's like five movies now that I really, really, really want to check out. Um, in the next coming weeks, uh, what have we got coming up? Uh, I'm still really, really desperate to see American Hustle and Saving Mr. Banks. Uh, yeah, The Hobbit, I'm looking forward to. There's, there's tons of stuff coming. So, um, yeah, I think that's how it's going to go down. 170 or more million for uh, Hunger Games Catching Fire this weekend. So, uh, until next time, adieu.